Welcome. That's the thank you. Don't be a stranger. I speak to thee of a being who came from beyond the sea and defiled this land. We must pray for its erasure from this world, so that future generations may know true peace. With vortices of purest malice, it twists the living into monsters most vile and deranged. Its inhuman powers are enough to subjugate even the lords of the spirit world. Indeed, the mightiest of them turned to dust in its wake, leaving Felgana to rot. Truly, it is a devil, for no hand of man could wreak such despair. Its name, Galbalan. I am Genos. I am a warrior from the West, brought here through divine providence. I sought to sever the devil's grasp on this land, but my sword could only divide it and seal it within the holy treasures. Yet even now, the machinations of the wicked threaten to reunify those heinous remnants. Swordsmen, Thou art to be my successor. I grant thee a measure of my strength. Adol's body began overflowing with a newfound strength. Adol gained the double jump ability.
The treasures number four in total. Two lie herein. One lies amidst hellish brimstone, and the last sits high atop a mountain. Thou must make haste, swordsman. The resurrection is nigh. Suddenly, Adol's surroundings became deathly quiet. Then the mysterious voice could be heard no longer.
What do you got for me? This the one? Good to go. This the good to go. This good to go. This good to go. This good to go. This good to go. Come again. What do you got for me? Come again. Far kinder things of me than I deserve. I owe him a tremendous debt of gratitude. Unfortunately, Chester was out on an errand for the Count at the time, so no answers were to be had on that front, and the Bishop had no luck finding any information on the statues either, I'm afraid. That is unfortunate, but we shall take the victories we can get. And the Bishop is still there. 
to answers may yet be forthcoming. On another note, how did your investigation of the abandoned mine go, Adol? Adol recounted all the events that transpired in the abandoned mine. Amazing. You're like a magnet for danger. Hmm. Genos and Galbalan. I never thought I'd hear that name again, much less in this context. You know what it is, then? It's an old local legend. Long ago, a great and terrible beast known as Galbalan came from across the sea and took control of Felgana. He had the power to transform the people and spirits under his influence into twisted, evil creatures, or so it goes. But one day, a hero appeared, wielding a mighty sword. He was the warrior, Genos. He borrowed the powers of the gods and fought the beast. And at long last, against insurmountable odds, he won. And that's about the extent of what I know, I'm afraid. Legends like that aren't too popular these days. Barely anyone remembers them. <laughs> I've certainly never heard it before. But that does remind me. I asked Bishop Nicholas earlier if he happened to know the origin of the Ilburn's ruins. Apparently, it used to be a church of sorts, devoted to some long-lost pagan deity. Interesting. Given the circumstances of late, it's not unreasonable to suspect there may be a connection. There's also one more thing that bears mentioning. Out in the Siena Bay, there's an old deserted island we've always known by just one name. Genos Island. There was once a small village there, but it was ravaged and destroyed by disease 12 years ago. What? It happened three years before you arrived. Genos Village never had many dealings with Redmond, and the whole tragedy was so terrible. People rarely discuss it. I don't know much about the disease that killed them all, though, I'm afraid. According to the official statement from Valestine Castle, it was some sort of extremely severe fever. This doesn't instill a lot of hope. An island named for the hero who defeated Galbalan, totally annihilated. The voice Adel heard is seeming less and less implausible, and more and more frightening. Indeed. Adol, Dogi's gone to speak with his master, Berhardt. Perhaps you should meet with Berhardt as well. He's a rather eccentric man who's chosen a life of near solitude. There's no one in Felgana who'd be more likely to know about Genos, Galbalan, the statues, and maybe even that voice. I believe I'll return to the castle and update Bishop Nicholas on what we've discussed here. If you decide to follow Dogi, Adol, I suggest you exercise caution. and it sounds like they got themselves some kind of disease. But how? I mean, I've always pampered them. They've never gotten sick on my watch before. They just keep getting weaker. There's an herb called a berm leaf that grows in the Elder Mountains. 
But it's kind of rare and hard to find. And I'm way too young and fragile to scale those icy monster-infested slopes. I just don't know what to do. dangerous with all the monsters around, yet I still left the safety of the town unescorted. My brother would always bring me here when I was little. You can look out at the entire Siena Bay from here. Isn't it beautiful? If you look over there, you'll see Genos Island. Supposedly, an ancient tribe used to live there. I don't know what happened to them, but I heard they all died out. Chester used to come here and just sit quietly looking out at the water. And I'd often join him. It was so peaceful. Yet, there was always such sadness in his eyes. Even back then, I could tell he had something on his mind, but I could never bring myself to ask him what it was. So we'd just sit together and watch the water until it got dark. I don't really remember anything from when I was just a little girl. My first real memories are from when Papa first took us in. I don't know where I lived or what kind of people I was with before that. I don't even have any clue as to what would make me forget so much. But I think my brother remembers at least some of it, whenever we'd sit out here. Sorry, I must be boring you to tears. I should probably get back to town. Would you excuse me, Adol? Adol offered to escort Eleanor. Huh? It's still light out, so... I but you won't take no for an answer, will you? Thank you, Adol. I'll feel much safer with you.
Thank you so much, Adol. For everything. I'd love to stay and chat with you, but I promised Margo I'd help her at the inn. You've got things of your own to take care of anyway. The monsters there are particularly vicious, so do be careful of...